Here is a smaller post, this one at Brighton. These structures reflect the dignity of the service the organization gives. This splendid building just completed is the new training school at East Lansing. This structure, as well as most of the buildings occupied by the state police today, was made possible through the Works Progress Administration program. It has made the Michigan State Police the best housed organization of its kind in America. It is being formally turned over to Commissioner Orlander by Louis B. Nims, State WPA Director. Every day in state police posts throughout the state, Patrols such as this one face an inspecting officer before starting on tours of duty that extend over Michigan's 57,000 square miles. The patrols are organized primarily to combat crime outside the corporate limits of cities. Cars and motorcycles alike are radio equipped and a call of distress or emergency is flashed to them for attention instantaneously. Protection of motorists on the 68,000 miles of improved Michigan highways has become more and more a definite major responsibility as traffic has increased. 300 men in cars and on motorcycles join daily in an effort to make your journey a safe one. Day and night, they war on the reckless driver and aid the safe driver. Tragedy does not ride the same mile when the trooper is on patrol. The night patrol was a significant forward step in both rural crime control and in night driving safety. There was a time when farmers locked their hen houses with apprehension each night. Would the fowls be there in the morning? While chicken stealing appears to be a petty crime, it isn't petty to the farmer, nor is it petty when huge rings are organized for systematic looting, looting that sometimes took in a single night thousands of chickens from dozens of farms. Chicken stealing is important to the state police because it's mighty important to the farmers who lose them. So, when there is a theft of this type, the trooper investigates the case carefully and has a pretty high average in running down the ones responsible. Roving bands of night marauders struck out at the farmer and the residents of towns and villages. Motorized cattle rustlers became active. Today, the night patrol cruises the main highways and the back roads. Suspicious loads are inspected and questionable night prowlers are checked. When the farmer goes forth at the crack of dawn for the morning chores, he has some assurance his stock will still be there. The night patrol looks over rural gas stations and small stores and watches grain elevators. It is alert for the drunken driver who had turned the highway into an avenue of death and destruction and is alert for that spot of red in the night sky that tells of a farm fire. A night watchman in a small village was no match for a gang of hoodlums who raided the sleeping community. Suspicious strangers are required to give a satisfactory account of themselves. Michigan's popularity as a resort state may be attributed to the fact that the summer visitor from another state finds state troopers contributing to his pleasure and safety. Touring information is available for every trooper. He might even have a suggestion where the larger trout are hitting. Troopers also maintain a watch over the thousands of camps and resort properties, checking against possible break-ins or storm damage that should be reported to the owner at once. Reports on these inspections, if everything is found in order, is left by the troopers. When the tourist opens his place again, these inspection cards are evidence of a friendly service that is appreciated keenly and reflected in his friends, perhaps, selecting Michigan for their summer outings. While it is Michigan lakes and forests that have spurred the tourist business into an industry netting millions, a contribution to the security and protection of resort investments has become an...